Hey guys, Evan here. So I'm currently busy prepping the uh, custom suit for a video to show you guys. But in the meantime, I figured I would go ahead and finally make this cosplay video. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys my uh, new 52 slash Man of Steel mix uh, Superman costume. So, um, starting off, uh, here are all the pieces I use for it. It's actually a, you know, very simple costume. And you guys can feel free to, you know, go ahead and use this method. Um, but anyways, uh, let's see, let's start off with just the main body of it. So, main body is just a blue, um, Zentai suit that I got. Um, I went ahead and cut off the hands and feet, and so it's just simply the bodysuit. Um, now personally, I do wish that I had made, um, kind of like thumb holes or something, or left the, like, you know, bit for the thumb on, so that would just loop through, um, because the sleeves do run up a little short on my arms, but it's a small problem, and it's easily fixed. Uh, actually, when I wear a um, long sleeve Under Armour shirt underneath it. Uh, but anyways, um, here is the symbol. Um, it is made out of a simple piece of um, craft, uh, like some craft foam, some thin craft foam board. You can see how thin that is. Um, I don't think I have any laying around near me right now. Um, but yeah, I took that, cut it out in a triangle, and then um, cut out a stencil for the main symbol, and then traced that and... Uh, you know, puff painted the whole thing. Really funny story behind this, actually. Um, night before Anime Expo, which was when I was going to wear this, I had the symbol glued onto the suit. Um, I had just a piece of, like, vinyl tape over it. And once it glued on, the tape started to come off because of the just the way that, like, the board kind of warped with the glue. And I was like, oh, crap, guys, th th you know, this might not work. I might have to cancel this cosplay for the next day. And so what I wound up doing is I searched through my closet... Discovered I had yellow puff paint from something my mom or my sisters were doing. Um, there was, of course, the red puff paint I used with all my Spidey stuff. And I sat there for about two or three hours and just, you know, because I had to let it dry and stuff. And I just puff painted the whole damn thing. And it was long and fun and completely worth it because it gives off a cool shine and it looks a whole lot better than it originally did. Um, next, and also on the blue, you can see this, uh, blue pattern. I still need to do a tutorial on how to do this. I have, this can also be used for Spider-Man costumes. Um, it's using, like, this, uh, whoop, there goes the camera. Why is it doing that? Uh, it's using this kind of, just kind of, like, mesh material, and then, and then I spray-painted blue, um, on top of it to give it that cool textured pattern. Uh, moving on next, you guys might recognize this. This I was going to use for the Spider-Man costume at one point, uh, but it is just a Batman, um like the, one of those Batman utility belt things, took off the little side pieces, just unscrewed those, spray painted the whole thing red, and then just added this little bit of elastic with a clip in the back. So that just clipped right around. Yep, very simple. Uh, let's see here, now we have the boots. Boots, I didn't do anything to modify. These were just bought online. If you Google Superman boots, you can find them. Um, right now there's uh, some tissue paper in there to keep, help the boot keep its shape, but I'm not wearing them. Uh, and then I have also added, like, a little insole pad for more padding. And then the final part of this is the cape. Uh, the cape is huge. Um, it is pretty much the size of the Man of Steel cape. Um, and I've got this little cool loop thing here, which I think I'll go ahead and show you guys actually how I get this on. Okay, so, I have the whole cape. Um, let's see. Okay, this way. So the way we de I designed this is it has this strap here. So I kind of get one arm through right there. It works a lot better when I have someone to assist me. Um, someone else grabs it there. And then, just kind of, hopefully I did this right. Pull the whole thing up, and it worked. Okay. And then that's so, as you can see, this uh, elastic here just goes down my shoulder. Actually then goes across my whole back. I don't know how well you can see that. And then up the other shoulder. So it actually holds it in place really, really well. And there's also a little piece of elastic that connects it, so I can do this kind of thing. I can move, just be completely flexible, and not have to worry about that breaking at all. And, uh, let's see here. I'll go ahead and tilt the camera down so you guys can actually see. Let's see if I can get that. Floor view, there we go. And this cape is nice and long and flowy. And in the wind, it, when it catches the wind, it's just ridiculous, guys. Um, and yeah, people step on it, mainly my buddy Kevin, uh, who takes my photos. He was stepping on it all day at Anime Expo, it was ridiculous. But anyways, guys, that is it, that's the Man of Steel costume. I'm not gonna get into it, 
uh, right now. Um, I will maybe throw up some pictures right here of what I look like in the whole suit. Um, also, you can just check out my album on uh, <clears throat> Vigilante Cosplay, my you know Cosplay Facebook page, uh, just to see some more pics of that. And I will probably eventually do a video of me walking around in this. I just don't really have the time to do that right now, but I wanted to, I felt like showing this to you guys, you know? Uh, but anyways, guys, that is it. Remember to comment, thumbs up the video, and subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, more videos, um, you know, more Spidey videos coming soon, because I'm getting ready to show you guys that custom suit. Uh, remember to uh, check out all the Facebook uh, social media links down in the description below. Remember, even if you do not have a Facebook yourself, you can still view all the photo albums and stuff on those pages, so feel free to bookmark the page and just, you know, check it whenever you want. Uh, anyways, guys, that's it. Um, stay frosty, and I will see you all next time.